Hello and welcome pirates. If you want a good start to your Skull and Bones adventure, or just want a cool ship, here's how you will obtain the first Bombardier class, the Medium Ship. To know where to buy the blueprint, go into your journal, then into the code logs and press ships. Then find the Padawakan and start tracking the blueprint. This will let you know where you can buy it. This specific blueprint is in an area I haven't been to yet, some 16,000 meters away. What I recommend you to do to start is to go to the nearest outpost and then go to the pirate bonfire. All outposts have these and toss some powder on it to gain a massive stamina boost for 20 minutes. After that, make sure you have food, water and repair kits assigned to you. 1, 2, 3 and 4 buttons. You do this by pressing the left control and then C to edit. This will help you maintain top speed crossing the vast open sea and also have full stamina all the way over. After that, you're ready to go. But be careful crossing the open sea, there will be danger. There will be rogue waves and the high level enemies out to get you. If you cross in one of your first two ships, a rogue wave will definitely one hit you. The crossing took me around 10 minutes and yes, I will spare you the details. When and if you reach calm waters, make sure to loot all the shipwrecks and gather all the material you can. You will most definitely find stuff you can refine later into material building your new ship. Also, make sure you visit some of the outposts along the way. These will serve as fast travel points as you look for material and other stuff later in the game. When you reach the town of Teluk Penjara, the first thing you need to do is go find the shipwright and buy the blueprint. You will find the shipwright by opening your map, and searching for an icon looking like a hammer and a ship. And once you find it, head over there. Blueprint will be located almost at the bottom and cost you 5208 silver. Once you buy it, you can start tracking all the materials you need to build the medium ship Padawakang. If it for some reason doesn't work, go to your codex, ships, and select Padawakang, and then press the spacebar, and you should see all the materials. Pressing X to your right. If you did what I said and farmed along the way, this is the time to refine all your materials to save time later. Do it at the refinery. After that, you're ready to go. Set sail and head on a southwest direction, picking up all the trees and iron along the way. And remember to loot all the shipwrecks as you pass them. When you arrive at the different outposts and settlements along the way, you can buy refined materials if you're lazy like me, or you can keep going finding what you need. Once you reach Kankur, you keep following the supply route north, buying and gathering all the materials you will need to build the ship.
And this, my friends, is why you should always loot the shipwrecks. I found two shellacks on this ship, and it most definitely saved me around 15 minutes of sail time. materials you need, you can start heading back towards the nearest settlement with a shipwright, but make sure you stay safe cruising these high level seas as there are dangers lurking around every corner. So with that, it all ends. Our journey is over. We didn't get the ship, but we had fun along the way. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time, and then we can get the ship. Thank you for watching. Nah, just kidding. Once you sneak past this whirlwind and pick off all the stuff, you can keep going to town. When in town, head to the shipwright if you have all the materials. If not, head to the refinery. This is a level 5 DPS class, a medium ship. If you wish to see all the specifics, pause the video as I scroll through them here. When you're done, hit craft and you will have your bombardier ship in the early game of Skull and Bones. And you can ease through the start of this game. You will have at least two weapon slots and two furniture slots more than everybody else at your level. And you can now also equip auxiliary weapons. Once you're satisfied with your ship, just dock again, fast travel back to your main area and keep going, keep looting, keep shooting. If you found this video interesting, let me know by commenting below, leave a like and subscribe to see more content like this. Until next time, have a good one.